The main archive of Ubuntu 18.04 LTS will be supported for 5 years until April 2023. Ubuntu 18.04 LTS will be supported for 5 years for Ubuntu Desktop, Ubuntu Server, Ubuntu Core, and Ubuntu Kalin. Ubuntu Studio 18.04 will be supported for 9 months. All other flavors will be supported for 3 years. Ubuntu 18.04 ships with the newest based Linux kernel, enabling the latest hardware and peripherals available from IBM, Intel, and others. The 18.04 kernel delivers new features inherited from upstream, including, CPU controller for the C Group V2 interface. AMD Secure Memory Encryption Super. The latest MD driver with software RAID enhancements. Improved power management for systems with SATA link power management. Linux security module stacking support. Support for signing of power host and NV kernels. Backport improved support for IBM and Intel hardware from Linux 4.16. OpenJDK 8 has moved to Universe and will remain available there for the life of 18.04, to provide migration time for packages, custom applications or scripts that can't be built with OpenJDK 10 or 11. OpenJDK 8 will be updated in 18.04 until Ubuntu 16.04 LTS reaches EOL in April 2021. Security Improvements In Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, GCC is now set to default to compile applications as position-independent executables as well as with immediate binding to make more effective use of address space layout randomization. All packages in main have been rebuilt to take advantage of this, with a few exceptions. Mitigations are in place to protect against spectre and meltdown. Other base system changes, the GPG binary is provided by GNUPG2. For new installs, a swap file will be used by default instead of a swap partition. Python 2 is no longer installed by default. Python 3 has been updated to 3.6. This is the last LTS release to include Python 2 in main. The installer no longer offers the encrypted home option using ecryptfs. It is recommended to use full disk encryption. OpenSSH now refuses to use RSA keys smaller than 1024 bits. Ubuntu Desktop, X is the default display server. Wayland is provided as a technical preview and is expected to be the default display server in 20.04 LTS. To try it out, just choose Ubuntu on Wayland from the cog on the login screen. The installer offers a minimal install option for a basic desktop environment with a web browser and core system utilities. Many official 18.04 desktop flavors are using this new feature too. Apps provided by GNOME have been updated to 3.28. LibreOffice has been updated to 6.0. Emoji now show in color in most apps. Calendar now supports weather forecasts. Some utilities have been switched to the Snap format for new installs, calculator, characters, logs, and system monitor. Snap apps provide better isolation which allows them to be upgraded to new stable releases during the LTS lifecycle. The Characters app replaces the older character map by default. The Ubuntu software app allows easy switching between different channels for Snap apps. The To-Do app has been added to the default normal install. Spice Digent is pre-installed for better performance for Spice clients such as the GNOME Boxes app. The right-click method for touchpads without physical buttons has changed to a two-finger click instead of clicking in the bottom right of the touchpad. You can use the GNOME Tweaks app, not installed by default, to change this setting. Although LibInput is the default driver for mice and touchpads, it is now possible to use the Synaptics driver with the Settings app. Support for the Synaptics driver will be dropped in a future Ubuntu release. Computers will automatically suspend after 20 minutes of inactivity while on battery power.